Hello and welcome back. Uh, yeah, they're looking for a game. So anyway, welcome. Today we'll be playing in Japan. <laughs> so be interesting. So let me just get that. I wanted to take a look at the possibilities here, and yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And yeah, I guess we can just begin as normal. So, let's go. Let me take a look around first, we'll see how that goes. We have a trader on the right. I wonder what the diamonds will be. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, as, as I was saying, <clears throat> I'm quite curious how the, how the how the diamonds will be actually for this uh, for this game for this DLC anyway. They just might be the same as as they always are. So, Doesn't seem like we have really anything to worry about on the right side. At least not yet. Archers and greed, nice. <laughs> Might as well pay them off and explore a little bit more. There's also a possibility that I am not going to be getting diamonds on this map. Mm -hmm. There's the pier. Okay, so we have pier on the right, that's good to know. <laughs> not quite sure that we have any opportunity to build closer to the pier itself, we'll see. There's a nice pile here, but kind of way off. I do assume that, um, that the archers will be able to take care of everything. I assume. This is good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be it is gonna be very useful. I honestly like this aesthetic a little bit more than um, than the North signs already.
Let's check the other side as well. Mm, I might ex mm, expand here. We'll see what else is here. This is good. This is good. Not great though. Is there are three camps on the map in total. Liking the music already. I think this will be the, f the best position to build a wall eventually. I have to cut out all of these trees, all of the all of the trees on the right as well. This is gonna be a little bit. This will take a while. I think I'm gonna need to pay the greed off at least once. Need to cut out all of these trees. Eh, hey, kind of forget about, forget about that. Yeah, unfortunately we can't, we, we don't really have any option with the diamonds here. At all, so... Why are you running back? Might as well. The wall wasn't even damaged. Why were they running away? Oh, that's really dense. That's wow, okay, that's this extremely dense. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll have to take a look at the arches on the left if they actually got something.
they didn't, and they actually lost. Um, well. <laughs> this sucks. Well... No, these guys are just going this way. It's like, <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> Aren't there supposed to be at least a couple of them on the other side? Well, they're gonna kill this deer now, at least. I honestly didn't expect the forest to be this dense. get a little bit more money and take a look at the camp that is on the right side of here. Hopefully there are some more people. There's two, that's great. Okay, we won't be able to really do anything here. Uh, what I'll try to do is get some archers, uh, expand the wall a little bit to the left and then I'm gonna move on to the next island because I don't want to repeat the mistake of last time. I simply was too passive and that resulted in a quite a mistake. Hello Karhu! <laughs> is that your, uh, is that your hello? No. <laughs> I'm acting as a 19th century businessman at this moment. <laughs> oof, oh, okay, yeah, I can't understand completely. <laughs> oof, oof. Well, hopefully you will be able to relax a little bit here. How's it uh, going otherwise? Also, I'm not quite sure that I know that you, what you actually do for a living. Yeah, nothing tomorrow, that's nice, that's nice. It was just part of- ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I thought so, because, yeah. <laughs> we talked about this a little bit. Ach, nee. Yeah, exactly. The horse is also disappointed. Ah, oh, I think my fingers are stiff from all the cable freaking work. <laughs> Ah, God. At least I get to relax this weekend a little bit. They actually wanted me to come in uh, the, the, into the job this, this this weekend. I was like, like are, are you like serious? It's not, it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, it was not great. The job is extremely mentally taxing for me. In a sense that uh, it's just... Right now it's so, such a simple work that uh, my brain just goes to think about stuff. I don't you know need, I need I don't need to really need to focus on the work because it's just so simple. But that's just for now. Too loud, alright. Oh, yeah, right. 
I forgot about that. I uh, I used to have it to minus six decibels <coughs> because well the game was well of course always loud, but then I played Alex once and was like yeah this game is too quiet so let me just increase the volume of it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be checking the, um, the loudness from now on. Oh. My deforestation efforts in this game will be extreme. And I wonder if I will be getting some uh, other possibilities on getting rid of all this bamboo, because this is just ridiculous. Compared to the base game, compared to the Norselands, this is just crazy. Expansion's gonna be quite difficult. But I've learned my lesson from the last time, I'm not gonna do the same mistake. By being a little bit too 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 passive, it's okay. We're just gonna pay them off. You don't need to. I don't really care about uh, paying off the greed at this moment. And yeah, once we secure the the farm here. Uh, yeah, let me just build that. <clears throat> Once I secure the farm, I will be moving on to the next island because there is not much else to be done here. Uh, I'm also gonna... yeah, let's cut down these trees as well. It's also an interesting concept because the more the trees you cut down, the more of a chance you have that the, the trees themselves will contain two pieces of gold instead of one, so it's basically... Okay. Uh, so it's basically money generating in, in a sense, but we'll see how effective that is. Also, we have red pandas instead of squirrels, so yeah. That's gonna be bloodshed. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the best I can do for now. Oh, actually. Uh, I've slept. I've slept so, so nicely today. <laughs> it's, it's kind of incredible. Uh, but the look for a different job has begun already, and we'll see how my, um, let's say, change of education to the IT. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a positive, a positive thing to say, right? I slept like shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <clears throat> no, definitely not. <clears throat> I mean, if I was, uh, if I was uh, completely lacking any sense of, uh, of intelligence, then yes, but no. Oh yeah, that sucks. I have the luck of being born as a complete sleeper, as in that I sleep like as if if you shot a tank next to me, I there is uh, I think a high probability that I would still sleep. Ok, 
Okay, I think I will need to pay off the greed once more. Not amazing, but not much that I can do about that otherwise. Also, these guys seem to be a little bit better builders than the ones in Norselands. Come back! Belt! <laughs> Otherwise, I can't really complain. The pay is good, so that's why I will be staying for as long as I am able to withstand it. And... Um, also, the people there are really, really nice. The ones that I've talked to, um, they're usually very likely minded people. And they are by no means, uh, let's say, of, they are not dumb at all. It's just that they accepted that they are doing this job and I'm not, I'm not there. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's not going to happen in my case. Are they beautiful people? Well, no. <laughs> Ed Vane, let's work and Weaver, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I, I was talking to this one guy that uh, that I've met there. I was asking a couple questions, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm going on. I'm going to work on Saturday." I'm like, like, why? <laughs> And he's like, yeah, nobody's gonna be bothering me with, with talking, so I will be able to focus on work. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. It's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, some of the, they, like, let me put it like this, the, the, the older, Older guys, let's say, there is one that is like 45 years old, there is one that is like, uh, I believe, fi 55 or uh, 55 to 60. These two guys are there only because they have been in that job for such a long time that they have certain, uh, they have pay that is unparalleled to, to the other people. So they, they stay there because, yeah, they, they, they do the job, they do it quickly, they do it fast because they're used to it, they talk between each other because they sit right next to each other, and they are, they are happy with what they have. And I can't blame them, that's completely reasonable to me, and I respect that uh, to the fullest. However, I can't imagine myself doing this work for 20 years. I would go crazy. It's like it's not that I bro that I need comp uh, like um, stimulation at all times, but at the same time, it's just <sighs> come on. What I'm doing is basically looking at the diagram and co connecting cables. Oh, that's that's quite nice. And connecting cables so that it so that it works, right? So that the so the connections are correct. You literally have uh, written. Which uh, which cable is supposed to go where? So you have like connection A1, connection A2, this goes to X1, this goes to X2. And I'm like, yeah, right. An idiot would like resolve this. <clears throat> it's a private sector job. <laughs> it's just very, very boring. Well, anyway, let's get on to getting the ship ready. You're not going to be waiting here for long. It's a private sector job and they are earning su so such incredible amount of money for what they are doing. It's... It's, yeah. it's like... Uh, how, would I, how would I describe this? You have these... Let's say you have, you have parts. You have like the main circuit... You have the circuit breakers. You have all these, uh, all these connection cables and everything. Oh, that was cheap. <clears throat> and then 
the customer really pays for... I, I don't know what the customer is paying for, but they are paying incredible amount of money for it. Um, you, you have the modules, the, the the little parts that you that you like uh, set onto the onto a certain board. It's not really a small board. It's like I don't know, thirty times 40, uh, 40 centimeters, or maybe like 20, 20 times forty, and. Uh, there you just con you just install the modules, connect them all together. Then they then the module goes to testing, where it's uh, actually certified that it it works properly. And then it's just shipped to the to the consumer, and that's it. Would you make a manic? <laughs> <like that? laughs> That'd be nice. But no, unfortunately, I actually have to do some work. <laughs> Okay, where is this guy? Okay, we're, we're gonna stack some cash. Before I leave. But I can tell you that I definitely was not, not born for this job at all. It just feels so dumb doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, for example, one module that I was doing recently that took me eight hours, maybe in total, in total work. That uh, that module cost three thousand euros. I'm like, like, what, what does cost three thousand euros for this? Would you play Dark Souls 1 on repeat for 15... Uh, probably not. Well, you know what? Maybe yes. Maybe... Uh, you know what? I would play Dark Souls series and the other Souls games for 15 euros an hour. I would do that. But otherwise, Dark Souls 1... I... I'm... I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some money, and after I get some money, I'm gonna go away. So let's go to the archers on the right. Hopefully they actually hunted something down. It'd be really nice to get this thing though. Fifteen euros an hour for Dark Souls. Hmm. But that's not really... Huh. How would you calculate that? In euros an hour, that's... Depending upon the stream time, of course. Eight hours a little bit long for for streaming Dark Souls, let's say six. And also every day is the question. Say thirty-eight hundred and fourteen. I think I would. Yeah, I think I would. Okay, <clears throat> we need to fill the we need to fill the the bag of cash with cash. Why are they planting corn and not rice? This is inaccurate. 
<laughs> but actually, did they have? Did they have? Um... Did they have rice in, in Japan or they have corn in Japan? I'm not that really I'm not really that familiar with their with their history. I know it was extremely bloody. <laughs> and it's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> but yeah. They had rice in Japan, but they had they had they corn, that's the question. Rikas, I see. Hmm, would it be possible that the... At the Silk Road, when was that actually... When, when was that actually founded? It's been like... I don't know, I don't want to sound like an idiot because I I, I should know this. I, I thought about 16th to be honest, but I would assume that eventually it would have made its way there as well. That's a tough question. I'm really not that well educated in the matter of... Uh, World history. Yeah, right, just steal that coin. Wait, second to fifteenth? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Presidency, how's it going? <laughs> Oh, you made me remember the damn thing again. Uh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. <laughs> no, no, I can't. No, I can't. It's like, no, this is not happening. Ah, oh. oh, God. <laughs> oh, I remember the tester as well. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> it's not even a meme, it's like the, the entire thing was so stupid. Ah. <laughs> no, I don't want that geld. <laughs> not, not geld. No, no, stop it! <laughs> I can't be laughing at this. <laughs> Why did the guy drop me the money? Now I'm overflowing again. Oh, okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I watched the entire thing. I watched the entire thing once, and I was just, I was just rolling on the floor almost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it actually where the where the Pepe meme comes comes from, or like what was the what was also what what was the Pepe? thing uh, in there. Was it actually the name of the person or like there are some unanswered questions that I still have. Ah. Oh. Well anyway, enjoy the quiet music for a little while. I'm just gonna take a short break before I break down on stream.
Oh God. So, I got myself something little to eat, because I didn't really eat much today. We didn't even yet finish the map itself, oh my goodness. Ah. I didn't forget the mic on, I just didn't... I just didn't toggle it. And we are just killing deer because we can. Okay, let me check the chat, because this is, this is broken. <laughs> Unrelated to the <laughs> oh, I could not even call the photo, fuck damn it. <clears throat> Can you use something? <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, even surprised. It's. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's get on to the next island. Um, that was actually not me farting. That was me uh, cleaning up my nose because, well, you know, gotta clean up the nose at least sometimes. <laughs> it is, there is a probability that you heard me opening the um, the can. I bought myself a sauce, and I have no idea if it's gonna be any good. And it made a little bit of an interesting sound when I opened it. I guess that might be a good thing. Uh, thank you, thank you, Karhu. Uh, Karhu, thank you for the see. Oh god, my god, my brain, it, it's ceasing to function. The the work made it not work. Hmm. Hmm. It's not actually too bad. Oh yeah, bad side. Bad side's in my night. Uh, it's always good. It's like I always, it's, you made me switch into German for a second. Working with Czech people and Austrian dudes. Yeah. They. They. It's, it's quite interesting. In Germany, they say it even though. Uh, it's not even time to eat at that point. They're just like uh, they just say outside when it's uh, when it's eleven, 
and then uh, all the way up to even up to four i've met some people is kind of it's like weird a little bit That might be just the German German thing, because all of the um, all of the little, um, let's say, how would you call them in English actually? Mm, states, I was a bit about to assume. All of the different states have some different customs, which are always a little strange to basically anyone you meet. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not surprised, but um, you, you would actually say that the same um, in Czech as well, you would say Dobro Noc. <laughs> could also, I could also well I assume that you already know some swear words in both of the both of the languages and that's what what I'm eating I just put some um, potato what are they even called veggies I think Just some potato veggies in the in the do, 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 oven. I'm as happy as I can be. Ooh. What do you do? Do we pay for it? I don't think it's so, at least not yet. We'll take a look at the expansion possibilities here. Great already. It's definitely a mount. I don't think I will be getting too many mounts this time. I would like to focus more on utility, utility things. Uh, if I can, I will get myself um, some diamonds and move on to the first island to get the big mount that crashed. And it's on the right side again. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> I hope you are not hungry, because if you are hungry, well, that's that's a problem. <laughs> <clears throat> stay, stay Polish. Stay national. <laughs> <laughs> I have great respect for the people of Poland. <laughs> Dude, do you want me to do you want me to actually choke? That word is definitely the same in both languages. It is actually the same in English as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's build the wall here. Hmm. There are not that many great expansions, uh, expansion places on the map. As far as I can see. This is gonna get obnoxious real fast with uh, with the tree cutting.
Hmm, there is actually a boulder here. Yeah, let's do this. I shouldn't have done it. Well, that's a mistake. Need a bit of coins to pay off the wave. What do you mean, Precision? Oh, you mean the, the mistake? Oh yeah, right. That's uh, because I will be having these these guys here. And if the enemies attack, which they will in a short while, then, well, they're gonna take their gear. Because there are no archers here. Because they're never... Uh, the, the archers are a bunch of asshats that don't want to work. Unless there is a barrier guarding them. I should not cut that many trees down anyway. I was thinking about it as well. I was like, why don't I carry a treasure mm, treasure bag on my on my on my horse? But guess we are not there yet with the technology. Okay, this is a very nice expansion. It should hold for a very long time. <laughs> that also secures a couple of the camps for people as well, which is very useful. But let's cut it a little bit down so that I have easier time going around. Come on, Jake, you play with credit card. Well, you see... Back in these days... There ain't no credit cards. I really should stop watching our overall. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can find an expansion spot on the right side as well. Uh, there is dirt here. Dirt there. Oh. Well, Precisely, if you have this game on Epic and you want to join me, you actually can. If you want to. At least I believe that you can join me if, uh, even if you don't have the DLC, but... We would have to check. Oh yeah, there's a portal. So, yeah, we're not really expanding on the right side. There's not a possibility. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow, that's, that's really helpful. Basically, the plan is the same as before. Yeah, I can just cut this down. Also, I know the way. <laughs> okay, that's nice. No, we don't. We don't. 
A, it's good that uh, that you know and uh, you don't have to tell, let's say, to the world. And the second is that, well, you know, TOS and all that stuff, it's always fun. Hmm. Is there? No, there isn't. Unfortunately, there is no farm close by. Hmm, search. Oh yeah, they always were. They always were. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> you know what they are best at? Stealing people's futures. I don't mean it as a joke. Surprise, TOS! <laughs> Nobody expects that! Um, huh. How about did they actually say the, the line with the Inquisition? Damn. Twitch Inquisition! That's why they're stealing washing machine. Of course! Like, how are you gonna wash your clothes? Then you're not gonna get a job and then, you know... It has consequences! <laughs> ah, okay. Let's get the box. The box of diamonds. On the left. Yeah. I also have a Russian friend. Can't really put everything in the same basket, of course, but, you know. Oh, they just barely fit. Okay, let's take a look on what's to the left. I don't think there is anything very useful. Even behind the portal. It's just a coin chest. Oof. That's always the case. <laughs> the wealth difference is definitely there. There is no... Uh... Oh. Oh. Let's get this, the... The old lady to safety. Yeah, the thing is, it's quite interesting with Russia over the time, because of course uh, b before the 1916, mm, it's basically the, the Tsar was in power at all times, and then the Bolshevik Revolution, it was quite shit all around. Then as Lenin got into power, it was a little better. Even though it killed many people, the results stabilized Russia a lot, I would say. But of course then, as Stalin took to power, well, 
Okay. Not good. Not good. If King don't new lands on Epic, well, unfortunately, that's the that's the single player <laughs> single player one. This one is two crowns. Nothing that can be played in co-op. <clears throat> but no worries. Oh yeah, right. We need to have, we need to have this standing. Um, yeah. So that's done. We have a lot of diamonds. I think I need three diamonds. I need no. I need five diamonds in total for the first map. Yes, you heard me right. I will be going back to the first map. <laughs> let's now build. Actually, no. Let's not build. But let's get the stone building on the right. I'm not quite sure what that does. I think it's stone upgrade. Oh yeah, right. I need to drop you off. <laughs> There's always the bay of one I want. <laughs> I'm not sure how the connectivity would really work uh, if that that would be the thing. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's that's oh, pretty much the case for me as well. There seems to be a little problem with my diamonds blocking the entrance. Okay, so now we have the next level of of stuff. Good. What is this? What what? Like the diamonds at the top are blocking everything in the sack. There was only one. Yeah, I need one more. Well, the the sauce that I bought that I told you about it was not that bad, honestly. It could be better, but not bad. I had definitely had worse. Definitely. Come on, one coin, anyone. Ready? Uh... Coin. Good. I'm not gonna make it because the, the greed's gonna be there, right? As I said, I won't be really buying all that many mounts. Because uh, I, don't, I really don't want to make the same mistake as last time, because I didn't really have the option to... Nice. To do many things with... Um, let's say buildings and upgrades and everything. I think I will leave the mounts for the last. And uh, on all islands. What I really want to do right now is to go back to the first island and get the archer upgrade and also mm, the flying mount. It will be interesting. I think if we can, yeah, we can actually now upgrade walls. Hmm. That was good. Oh yeah, I'm feeling better already. Money! <laughs> of course! Oh no, we actually have a slight issue. This is a big night.
<laughs> it said that good streamers like you get only two viewers. And, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I honestly want the chaos that comes with the bigger chats, to be honest. Of course, thank you for the consideration, but... Uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> But there is not much of a big chance, in my opinion, to actually get there uh, at this stage. People will always go for the big ones, not the small ones. Well, usually, you're still here, so that proves something else. Um, but... Yeah, it's... It's also the games that I play and um, similar other additions. We've actually talked about this with Ka with Karhu um, recently, and I also can't really get a good streaming schedule right now because of work. I should not have bought that. Um, good. Money? No? Okay. Okay. That was perfect amount of money. Uh, hopefully we will get some more and get some more arches for this night. I don't think we are gonna get really sacked, but well... I have been over preparing a lot, so I think I should be fine with the second level of, of the barriers, so to say. Hopefully. Well, people are horny, you know. <laughs> that's the that's the idea. Like History revolves around sex. Do you, do you know how many wars were fought because of women? It's ridiculous. Well, uh, yes, of course, of course, but you want the active, uh, active participation, you know. But I think that's gonna that's gonna be mitigated a lot when um, a lot of AI. Um, let's say girlfriends will arise at that point i think um, it will not be as popular anymore no, the, the the women because there will be a substitute of course you can't really substitute the real thing never well maybe but in like 30 years and i'm not really that ready to speculate about it maybe even less than that maybe even I really don't think I should be getting into this right now. But... Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, but then you have people which are just uh, incels and they just can't get anything done, really, you know? Then I don't mean that in the in in a wrong sense. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> it's just people that are not. I don't want to say capable, but um, they have much lower chance of actually finding a partner in the real world, so to say. You can, for example, take a look at the Japanese side of things. Japan is very... Yes, uh, the Industrial Revolution was truly a disaster for humanity. You, you, are, ex you are very correct in this, uh, in this uh, assumption, Karhu. Uh, it's not even an assumption, it's, it's just deduction. 
The thing is, uh, the Industrial Revolution really did overhaul everything and pushed humanity very, very much so forward in the amount of wealth basically everyone has. And uh, that in turn caused progress to be made very, very quickly. If you take a look, for example, at the progression during the First World War and let's say from let's, let's, up until the 1850s, from let's say zero to 1850s, you, you really don't have much, right? Then from 80, 1850 to let's say the end of the First World War, you have extreme quick development in all fields, weaponry, technology, everything. Then during the First World War, this was even further accelerated because of, of course, you want the technological advancement over your, your opponent, so that even further uh, fueled the, the need for, uh, let's say, higher education and for people to develop new technologies. And we are not really getting anywhere here, are we? And this sucks. Um, and of course, eventually that led to... Uh, the, 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 the scientific advancements in, let's say, field of computers and... But we are talking post... Uh, post uh, cold, well, during and post Cold War. And of course, in the sense of medication. So people that usually would die during, uh, during early childhood uh, lived. So you have also certain certain genes that we basically saved from eradication, so to say. Also, also yeah, I'm not really... Uh, well, fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna talk about it. I, I don't even give a shit anymore. Uh, the point is that uh, certain people with genomes at these days survive because of technology, which would normally not survive and they can it, it can lead to them reproducing for example uh, there are people I would it's it's a very rare disease so to say my my uncle has it and his uh, his wife has it as well it's a genetic disease that you just you don't really think about this and uh, if they have a child, which they did twice, the child will actually have a certain requirement for food, with, because it's allergic to... Uh, what is it called? How would I put this? The, they have to have a certain diet because meat is basically gonna result in an allergic reaction from them. I, I really don't know the terminology in English, to be honest. I know it in Czech, but I really don't know it in English. So you have you have something like this, and you just, you just think to yourself, like, what, what do you even like? How does this even happen, right? Well, it, it happens. <laughs> that's, that's just one example. It's, it's not a perfect example, of course, but it's just to get, uh, get you thinking about the things that are even worse than this, and they just come to be. Right? Because, of course, like we, we say survival of the fittest, but, well, it's not really the case anymore, is it? Nah, I really couldn't tell even even if it was the right word, I couldn't tell you if it if it was the right word. Okay, how do I even do this? I need to think a little bit. I need to cut down the forest on the right at least a little bit. Yeah. Let's do that now. So let's cut this down. No, that's a diamond. Yeah, we have hentai babes with dicks, yes. Very nice. <laughs> uh, 
I don't judge, but... I have no idea what that means, for to say. <laughs> well, I got some things from that, but... Fight? I would love to, but I'm unable to. There's gonna be a fight now. We're gonna win anyway. It's, this is gonna be. It's gonna be easy. As I said, I I played the Northlands, the other DLC on the hard difficulty, and uh, not anymore. I don't like it. I want to relax through the, through this game. To join myself. Been playing, I've been playing way too many, way too much misery for me to <laughs> enjoy hard difficulty anymore, you know? God, I think I actually, I actually finished every single misery... Uh, ...possibilities for characters as well. With all of the quests as well. Oh my god. I just think back to it and I'm like, no, don't 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 do it. Don't do it to yourself. Yeah, we are not playing misery ever again. <laughs> trees are in one spot this is crazy if it's, you know an anomaly is not only uh, it's not only easier this actually fun <laughs> uh, yeah I know of course but still is bamboo really the durable? And also, is there actually no freaking place to build a barrier? Really? Oh... Yes, I did as well, with the uh, arsenal overhaul. Oh yeah, how much time I spent there just getting all the weapons. I was always, always fun, always fun. But I have to say, I really, like, uh, I'm not sure if this is actually against the Twitch's TOS or not, but I don't really care, to be honest. I played a lot of... Uh, Escape from Tarkov in single player. With, uh, with the mod. Allows you to basically play solo against bots and you have the PMCs as well, they're a little bit more difficult. And uh, that game kind of simulated Stalker for me. Of course I had to customize it for myself a little bit more, but uh, it was quite fun. And I, f I still have the, the files on hand. And I think I would honestly play it. Probably not on uh, not on stream, but nah, nah, didn't want to buy you. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was quite enjoyable. Hey, wait, what? Oh, we need bricks. 
The mod making the weapon real, yeah, yeah, that exactly, exactly. Like the Tarkov but the multiplayer is very very big problems of cheaters. Yes, that's exactly why I went from that to the single player Tarkov. Of course, I don't really play that uh, play as much anymore. It's not that it wouldn't be fun. It's just a very big time sink. Oh yeah, don't even get me started on that. Spend a lot of time with my friends there. It was fun, mostly. Okay, I'm really overdoing it with the islands right now. <laughs> shouldn't be buying as much... Uh, shouldn't be doing as much stuff here. Oh! Oh! What is this? We have ninjas? Is he gonna be a fisher through the day and a ninja through the night? Have you in your life encountered man-made horrors beyond your comprehension? <sighs> yes, yes, I have. But usually it was man-made horror, you know? What is this, though? So the fishermen, I assume, will be very helpful during the... during winter. Oh, hello there! Okay, I need to see what the, what the ninjas actually do. And I assume I can actually... Uh, that I'm able to buy them on the other side as well. But I didn't really have the option to expand a lot, so... Probably not, not a possibility. Wait, what? Are they going to just go and assault? <laughs> what is this gonna be? Is it Sudoku? I actually like Sudoku. What is my favorite organ? Do you mean organ as in the the music or do you mean it as, <laughs> as an actual physical organ? <laughs> okay, they don't do things. They do things! Holy shit! They... Whoa, that's crazy! That's crazy good! So they so they hide in the shadows and when the night comes, they uh, when, the, when the force runs through, they just throw shurikens at them from behind. That's amazing, I love it. <laughs> this game never ceases to Im 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 impress me. Yeah, bow, bow your head to the master. Wow. That's amazing. I think we might be actually able to assault the portal now. We might be getting summarized now. Oh! 
Oh ho ho! <laughs> oh, Organ like a liver. Okay. Hmm. I'll need to think about this. It's not, not really often that you that someone asks me this question, you know. Um, favorite organ. I think that it would be probably, probably my heart, because that thing just keeps me going. <laughs> but um, in consideration, let's say of well, I I don't really eat hearts, you know. So <laughs> So no, my, my heart is, is preferable to the others, because without it I wouldn't really be here. Um, <clears throat> but if you were to ask for, for a specific, I would say probably my prefrontal cortex. be kind of strange to say that, you know, but yeah, that's that's probably the, the, the answer that I'm gonna give you. You know, we're actually getting somewhere. Chimera's heart. Oof. Don't they actually have two hearts? My cerebrum. I'm not that well versed in uh, in biology, even though I probably should have mm, possibly could have gone for medical school I might have might have been better for me but well it's a little bit too late to change that but I honestly thought that the prefrontal cortex was the thing that actually enables you to think as a um, as a person. Is that wrong? Am I mistaken in this? Of course, uh, of course, but I thought that... Uh, uh, I thought that the prefrontal cortex was the thing that actually allows you uh, to have, let's say, direct thought about something and not act on impulse entirely. Like without it, you would. Uh, I thought that without it, you would not be the same thing. Of course, of course. But if you took the if you took the brain and took out the prefrontal cortex, then I thought that you would not be really you. 
I mean, of course, if you took some other parts, uh, let's say the left entire hemisphere and so on, then yeah, right, but... Uh, I thought that the prefrontal one was the thing that actually makes you, you. Of course, uh, I do believe that the uh, right prefront, uh, um, uh, the right side of the brain is, I believe, responsible for things that you are doing new, uh, like uh, completely for the first time, and the left one is. But uh, for what you are doing, uh, not, uh, let's say, repetitively, so that you already know. I might be also mistaken in the... I might be switching the sides here, but... I do think that I'm correct in this... Uh, in this... Knowledge. Oh, they don't? Okay. Curious. Pay the wave off. Uh, okay, that's a lot of them. Very interesting. I assume that a lot of this was learned thanks to um, what are the what are the what is the brain scanning machine called? Oh, <laughs> if I would know. Mari, yes, yes, that's that's the thing. Magnetic resonance, yes, 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 that's the thing. Okay, let's get some more arches going and let's also get more of the ninjas. <laughs> also, why is the guy wearing a, a, a beehive on his head? I mean, like, I found it curious at the beginning of the stream, but it's like, what's going on here? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> It's entirely simple, but basically, yeah, it's it's. Uh... Uh, how many fishies did you catch? Oh, decent amount. It's nice that the they are not actually useless, so to say that they that they actually provide something to the ninjas as well. Curious, yes, I like this mechanic a lot. Wait, what? That's a fire barrel. We don't really need a fire barrel. Do we need a fire barrel? No. Need more farmers, of course.
Okay, and the next night I'm gonna do an assault on the right side. I sometimes think about this and I'm like what really what did really happen in the history of of mankind that made us develop the way that we are Not quite sure that if anyone else actually thinks about these things <laughs> I just look at look at let's say my my colleague in work and I'm like how did we come to be like this And then I think if we were not driven by the need of survival how different would have be what how different would have we been Oh god that's a lot of money. Like, would we even have this form? I guess I will leave that to someone that actually has education to find out, you know. Okay, let's send the first attack wave. I find it funny that the guys have actual armor and the, sam uh, the samurais have nothing on them. <laughs> They're just... nope. We are the Legion! They don't even want money. Maybe the samurais... Well, when, when they have the armor, maybe they will. Think more about what they're so fragile. They're, they're not really... That's fragile, to be honest. Uh, very I think that we are quite resilient. Of course, if you take in consideration that we have we have actual long limbs that are able to interact things, grab things, walk fast, we are able to run. It's quite complex if you think about it. And uh, let me just take a look on how this goes. Oh, ho, ho, nice. Um, I honestly think that the evolution made us so that we are much more susceptible to damage. Let's say falling, uh, uh, scratching, and so on. Basically, all physical possibilities that you could think of. However... Oh no. I won't destroy the portal. However, we have the we have the capacity of actually thinking about the consequences of what what is happening. And that is the biggest advantage we have. Right? It's not the physical physical attributes. We're not that tough. But we are we are smart enough to avoid certain situations that uh, would otherwise result in death or bodily harm, let's say. 
which other animals don't, right? It's like an, uh, a stupid example is like a lion trying to attack an elephant, right? The elephant is just gonna kick it with its foot and the, and the lion's gonna just bleed to death, right? That's, that's just how things are. But with humans, you are gonna think like, that's, that's probably not the best idea to do. Maybe, maybe we can do this without actually, you know, dying. <laughs> They might be coming from the other side. Hmm. Oh yes, the farmers. Okay, now give me a second, I'll read the chat as soon as the as the wave is over. I really don't know how they are doing on this side right now. And I definitely need a better mount as soon as possible because this is just horrific. Wait, what? Where is the where is the attack wave? Was it on the other side then? Curious. Okay. Um... Yeah, everything poisonous usually takes like shit. Yes, that was that was during uh, that was because of taste. Also, color. Yes, you're right with color. That is usually dangerous. Mm. Yeah, but you didn't really have apples in all of the, let's say, very hostile regions, I think. Right? As in hostile, I mean uh, dangerous for the tree to actually survive. It's, it's true that many... Uh, not vegetables. <laughs> God damn it! Words! I'm losing words! Roots. Yes, thank you. For fuck's sake. Ah, I was so lost for some reason. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, he ran to the other side because of the cash, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that, that might be quite an interesting question with uh, with a cow. Yeah, yeah. Um, it could have been just some some random child that that wanders towards a cow, you know. And you get you you think of the rest. I'm not gonna get into the details. Uh, prehistoric apples also very. Oh, that might be that's interesting. Huh. Yeah, fruit. Hmm. What do you do? Are you the lady that allows me to build the stable? Yep, we don't need that. At least not yet. Okay, so we defeated the first night. No, the first night, the first assault wave. So let's now wait for the attack wave to come once more. Then we are gonna attack the... the, 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 the pier. Build a... Fireplace. And then we're gonna move on to the first island. 
and defeat the pier so that we can travel by boat without losing it. Then I'm gonna move on as fast as I can. A plan to me. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, what am I doing? Just need to do this. But I think that the ninjas are also quite uh, in the harm's way. I think we need a lot of them for them to be quite efficient. And I'm not sure um, how to how do they do against the big guys. They may get really wiped out immediately when they when they attack the big guys. Okay, they don't they don't need a recharge. Good. Well, yeah. It's all very curious. And of course before it was that if you... If you tried, well if the evolution tried something that didn't really work well, it, it usually dissipated on its own and today it's not the case really. As in, you get the third hand. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> you, you, don't do that! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my, angry portal. The portal is angry! shouldn't act dumb. I may have watched a little bit of um, of anime in my time. <laughs> a little bit. The only people the Japanese are like killing more than just. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. How much can this thing take? Are they even fighting? All of them? Maybe for long the, the wave is gonna come from the portal and that's gonna be a problem. Or maybe not. Well, you know, these guys are just like champs. I spent like half a day here already. <laughs> Quite sure what the upgrades of the of the lighthouse do, but I would much rather have the the lighthouse in uh, made of stone rather than from wood. You know, seems like a good idea, so it doesn't really burn down. Of course, it costs a lot of money, but I think I'm gonna reimburse reimburse myself on uh, on the farmers.
But yeah, there is not much else we can do apart from going a lot left. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. What I could do is go to the left and get myself, well, destroy the portal on the left side as well. I could do that and with that it will be very... it will be much simpler in the late game because I won't have to, I won't have to push through the big knights. I think I'm gonna actually do that. It should be enough cash for a for a long time. We should all go a lot left. No, 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 no. I think we should all should stay on the right side of uh, <laughs> of the spectrum, to be honest. We need it now more than ever. Common sense is depleted. <laughs> yeah, on the right side of history, of course, but, you know. Okay, so let's go and destroy! Go, 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 go! Oh, that guy is in the red. What does that mean? Okay, this might be an expansion point. This here also. Let's... I'll, I'll actually ride behind the portal a little bit. And I'll take a look on what's here. I think I can leave the treasure chest here for later. It will definitely come in handy, I think. That's here. We are looking for the dirt piles because it's the only place basically I can build a barrier set. <laughs> Oh, this is a long ride. Okay, there is one barrier. Okay, there is a... Oh, yeah, this works. This works. We just need to get a, um, a full moon. Or get a lot of cash and pay off a wave. That's also an option. Yeah, I could... Uh, I, I think I will do that. No, oh, wait, I, I know... What am I even doing? I won't do that, because if I come... I'll, when I'll come back later, it will be destroyed anyway. And of course, the... Ah, the horse ran out of the stamina. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, then it's, it's then it's completely. It doesn't matter at all, basically. Yeah, I could just be. Yeah, I'll I'll be leaving at this moment. There's not much else to be done. Did they get the fire barrels, I wonder? Yes, they have it loaded. Okay, this is gonna be a massacre. Shoot the panda! <laughs> I think this, this uh, in itself got me banned in China. <laughs> Oh, 
So now we just wait. I want to see how this wave goes, and then I'm gonna... Oh god, how far did you fire that thing? Oh, that was easy. Didn't even break a sweat! Okay, so, yeah, then we're gone. There's nothing else to be done here. So all I'm gonna do is basically get the uh, diamonds and... and ring the bell. It's really hanging by a thread. Oh, come on! The diamonds... The diamonds are such a nuisance sometimes! Okay, and what didn't we get? We, we didn't get a dog? What? I didn't, I didn't even see that thing. Okay, well, let's go here. This is extremely important. Uh, I'm not sure which way. This way. Let's get this way first. We'll upgrade the walls to the stone as as much as we can immediately. And I think that the pier is on the right. And we'll get as many upgrades here as we possibly can. So that when I come back and it's gonna be... Okay, changing the music. Uh, and it's gonna be... Uh, a lot of it is probably going to be destroyed. Like the walls and stuff. But what will remain will be, uh, will be the upgrades. So that means the main building... And... Uh, and basically every wall that I will build will be able to rebuild for cheap. So that's very important. Okay, there's this shrine. Can we even afford it? Yes. Very nice. So that's that. Now just take a look on... Is this the side of the pier? Yes, this is the side of the pier. So that's good. And I assume there is one portal to the left, so we'll have two assaults. One to the right, one to the left. First one will go to the right, so that we can prepare the left side. We'll build a catapult and some other stuff there, so it's easier to, to fend off the waves as they get bigger. And I will try to do so on every island that I will find from now on, as to basically destroy one side completely. So that everything has to come to the left, or the, the other side. Because the left side is always the shitty one. Okay, 
Oh yeah, I think I will have to actually upgrade the main building. What can I buy with money? It depends upon if you're asking in the real life. <laughs> oh, nah. Of course, uh... Well, basically pretty much anything in this game. Pretty much everything. Like this thing. <laughs> we'll be getting that soon. But what can you buy with money? Mm. Well, the answer is really everything. There's probably not much that you can't buy. Some people would buy you can't buy friendship with money. Well, you can, as long as you have it. As, you, as long as you have money. That is. It's a complicated, complicated question. Can you buy happiness with money? Yes, you can. Because if you have no money, you will have no happiness. <laughs> Will you be happy without food? No, you won't. Of course, there are some situations when money will simply not be enough and it is that it is... For example, if, well, a stupid example, but something that just came on top of my head, it's like, if you get into a fight, and the person that you got into fight with is convinced that he wants to harm you, you are not getting out of that. Without an excessive amount of convince convincing, so that's not really feasible. Of course, this is uh, this is so this is such a dumb conversation. I, I I used to have this conversation with my brother when I was younger. Like, what can't you buy with money? Well, you can buy everything with money. Oh, don't you run away all the way to the base? Oh my god. Yes, the better wording, yes, definitely. It doesn't guarantee it, but it brings you much closer to it. Okay, uh, I think I need the next level of the main building to... Oh yeah, we don't really need to stay off the wave if they are, they are coming, so... Um, it definitely doesn't guarantee it. <laughs> I 
the guy just brings a trumpet to announce his his trade being successful. Is this is this like a real thing that that used to be like some some sort of culture thing that I'm missing or is this just <laughs> It's just, just uh, why? <laughs> why does he have a trumpet? <laughs> I'm <really> confused. <sighs> uh, yeah, right. Let's let's buy the mount. Oh yeah, I just burned the torch right next to him. This is already so much faster. Does he have a special ability as well? Probably a knockback, that's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah, this is so much faster. See, I bought happiness with uh, with money. <laughs> okay, and I. I think, yeah, we need the next level of the building before we can actually attack anything. Should probably get the catapult. No, wait, I don't need the catapult on the on the on the right side at all. Yeah, the main thing about this mount it's it's actually fast and it's very fast on uh, in the forest as well that's a big win for me like where are you guys going Wait, is it the big night tonight? No, it isn't. Huh? This is strange. Yeah, we definitely... Ah, I forgot about the main building. Nyeh. Also the lifelong solution to any problem you may have. Just hit it with the hammer. Your stick doesn't work? Try another stick. Or, you know, just run past the problem, that's also a possibility. Ah, uh, anyway. Well, so now is the big night, that's, that's nice. But I think I'm gonna destroy the portals, uh, the one on the right and one on the left, and actually head to bed. It's quite, it's quite late already and I should keep my sleeping schedule operational. 
Well, it's gonna be at least another 20 minutes, I think. That's a lot of a lot of money. <laughs> How are you even supposed to cut down this place? It's gonna take forever. Like, I'm, I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> Sixteen times the detail if I'm gonna do this. Yeah, certainly. Thank you, Carol, for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Is it going to be this side or the other? Oh my god, no, stop with the cash. I was just stretching. Come on. I'm not even on only OnlyFans and I just stretch and I get money. What the hell? Before it's on, no, it actually is on this side. Ooh. Oh, the ninjas! That was rather simple. Let's go destroy the right side now, then work on the on the left, and uh, we should be quite quite set. I don't think my involvement is really necessary on the right side anyway. It also might have been a little bit of a mistake to build a catapult on the on the right. Eh, but whatever. Don't you tell me that I can't attack because there is Oh there we go. There's too many trees. The greed is not the enemy, it's the trees! Thank you. 
I just hope that you can actually manage to defeat the thing. Well, they certainly did. We have a brickery. Okay. Oh, oh god, I'm feeling tired as well. Yeah, this is. After this night, I'm just gonna go build the the Firelink Shrine. Yes. Ah uh, no, I want to build the beacon, the lighthouse and the teleporter in on the on the right side and then i'm gonna go and no wait i can actually attack as soon as we defeat this wave hmm What? That was it? Well, that's uh, underwhelming. I think they should be able to handle the uh, the attack as well, so. I'll let them be. I'll go on the right side completely, build the beacon as I was saying. And as soon as I handle the next wave, I'm just gonna get to the bed. The bed. It's like one of the things that I that I can't imagine. <laughs> like, how would I put this? The bed is such a sacred, sacred thing for humans. <laughs> This is what is this going to be about? I wonder. Maybe they did, maybe they got the portal already. Or is it gonna be, yeah, uh, fill your coffer because you're an idiot? I think that I'm gonna... What? 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 She just disappeared?
Okay, and I think that that's, that's it then. Nothing else to be done on this map, uh, I would believe. They hold? They did? We check the map. No more portals? Oh, there is... Um, there is a dude someplace. Let's take a look at the dude, though. <laughs> Let's take a look uh, where he is. I hope he won't be that expensive. If only one diamond. to come back here again. <laughs> Shouldn't have spent all my diamonds on hookers. That's my bad. Uh, da -da -da -da. What next? What next? I think we are just gonna leave here. That's what's next. I'm gonna send this guy on his merry way. Can I actually do this? No, it does nothing. Hmm. Still quite cool. Can I do that to a deer though? No. Probably only against the green links. So, I ring the bell. I actually don't ring. No, no, no. I'm not gonna ring the bell. I'm just gonna stand here and I'm gonna go go bed. Go bed time. So anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna actually pause the game. Uh, I will most likely continue tomorrow. As always, I will inform you on the Discord. Uh, Discord link is always in the description. And I'm just going to close my eyes soon. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And upon the next time, I wish you good day, or in my case, a very, very good night.